Hello, and welcome back to Arcanum. Last time, we picked over some weird, mostly garbage dialogue trees and then got lost, and it's the whole thing. Anyway, some of you thought we were going to cross the bridge, but no, there's actually something here still to find that I somehow missed that I want to see if it's at all interesting. Um... And also, we're going to do one other thing. Uh, hold on. Oh, he's back here. Okay. Um, okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go in here. And then we're going to go down in this cave. Hey, guys. You want to... Thank you. Because this is a cool little cave that I somehow completely missed before. Though, frankly, I mean, this doesn't even, like, it doesn't even geometrically look right to the, like, the kind of camera that we're dealing with. Like, it just looks out of place. And especially if the screen was smaller, I can't imagine how you'd notice. Although maybe the top of the stairs would be more pronounced if it was larger in your total screen. Okay. Um, all right, so supposedly there is something worthwhile down here, but... But on the other hand, there's the chug. Actually taking a decent bit of damage there. Hey team, you wanna thank you, finally. I'm lowering that on the off chance it's causing me an issue. If he starts dying, then I'll put it back up, but... Okay. Time for me to heal myself since so someone else will. Lizards. Come on. So unresponsive. It doesn't even, that's the thing, it's not even, I, I guess I haven't really articulated that. The chug here is not only like a lag in processing, it's straight up not reading my inputs. So, like, if I, if I click three times in rapid succession, it only reads the first one. It doesn't accept another input at all until it's done with the animation. Um, so, yeah, I can't even like cue shit up. Good lord. Okay. Suddenly we're okay. I, maybe... It, oh, you know what? Maybe it's the lighting. Maybe it's that beam of light shining down on my, my character models. Causing a horrible, horrible lag. Alright, so we gotta have the fight over here so we're not all standing in the, uh... In the light. Get out of the light! Wish I could play a vampire in this game. Wish I could play a vampire in most games, honestly.
cool. Now we're having additional audio desync from the animations as well. That's fun. You know, I wonder if we went back and looked at all of the footage from, um, oh my god, these guys are the worst because they're made of light. <laughs> um, wow, look at that mouse cursor. That is sweet. This is being recorded at 60 FPS. It's definitely worth it. Um, I wonder if going back to early parts of the game whether the slowdown is more noticeable at night or only there at night even since there's like during the daytime in in a city oh my god this might be the worst the slowdown has ever been it's literally not taking my inputs now there we go um like, in the middle of a city in the daytime, there's not really a lot of differentiation in the lighting. So, suppose, theoretically, depending on how it's, it's actually applying the lighting layers... Um, so, I sort of assume what's happening right now is that, like... It's applying a lighting filter or, God forbid, a, a, a like, actual different texture. Um, well, it's not textures, though. It's sp I think it's sprites. It's using direct draw, so this should all theoretically be, like, if not sprites, then, like, an analogous thing. Like, there's no, there's no, like, no 3D modeling going on at all, as far as I'm aware. So, I think, depending on how much they've pulled apart... Good show, sir! Shut up. Um, how much they've pulled apart each of the sprites... I mean, do these things... These, don't think, these things don't actually have transparency, right? That would be insane. That's just, like, a simplified transparency where they're faking it with a gray... Because if you're, if you're like, rendering flat layer, it's so much more inefficient to render um, individual layers essentially piecemeal like this. Because you're laying, layering sprites on sprites on, on maps, and you're basically loading them from memory in real time. That, this is running off an SSD, so there's no reason this should have a problem, but like, it's the engine, right? The engine can only process it so fast because it's 20 years old, or the rendering, the rendering engine is 25 years old. Um, but like, just from a, even, even if that was not the bottleneck, it's an incredibly inefficient method of doing any, any sort of like complex like additive layering like that because you're essentially every frame is re-rendering all parts of the scene that have changed i mean that's the way when i say it that way it sounds obvious but it's also like if you're applying if you're either applying a filter which may or may not be more efficient or pulling a different version of the sprite um, based on lighting every time and presuming the engine is not, I mean, the, there's no way the engine is optimized to load that into RAM. Um, like, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm just rambling at this point, but you get what I mean. Just kill that fucking thing. And then, we're gonna pick up this thing from this altar.
Krigid's Falchion. Speed 20. Damage 30 to 50. Fatigue 10 to 20. TH. What is... Oh, t to hit. Right? Or something? Or... It doesn't matter. Fuck it. It's pretty good. It appears to be pretty good. We'll see if it's actually pretty good. Uh, I wonder what the MSR is on it. It is better. So what are we looking at? Ace to hit, 135. Damage, 20 to 23 to 32. Fatigue, 23 to 27. Let's see. It seems like it should be a dramatic upgrade. It's... It is a pretty dramatic upgrade. And whatever the MSR is doesn't matter because I've got a uh, strength of 20. So that's cool. It's kind of crazy that it's one-handed. It doesn't look one-handed, but I mean, it is a falchion. They're technically one-handed. I don't know. I, people call a falchion a one-handed thing, but I sort of call it a hand and a half sword. It's They typically have handles for Wow, you are slow, dude. We already did all the work. Um, I don't know. Falchions are big. They're, um... It's the kind of thing where you're, like, swinging the momentum of it, not, like, you don't have a ton of control. It's sort of, you point it in the direction, and it goes, and then you go with it. If that makes any sense. Especially whatever kind of crazy version of a falchion this thing is, because it's got all kinds of, uh... Ah, uh, thank you for blinking at me. Um, it's got all kinds of crazy shit going on. Anyway. Uh, is this where we came in, or... No, that's... Wait, yes. No? Fuck. Now I don't remember. I'm hoping I'm going the right way. I think, I think it's one way, right? Is it not one way? God, I'm really glad I got rid of Gorgoth. Listening to him whine about meat all the time is... Just miserable. So, the one other thing I do want to do... Um, let's save here, because I'm not sure how I want to do this. I don't really want to kill him, but he's also got a pretty sweet weapon, apparently. If I make someone wait, do they still count as... What is your plan of attack? It's not an easy thing to bring down a powerful mage. I'd hope to simply overpower him. Ha! I can see you are a great, great military strategist, no? An all-out attack might work, but the cost would be high without something to tip the balance in our favor. He pauses and lowers his voice. I know of a weapon, here in my wanderings through this cursed land. I've come by knowledge of a fantastic weapon that could be used... What? It... Didn't you already... He pauses and lowers his voice. I know of a weapon, here. In my wanderings through this cursed land, I've come by knowledge of a fantastic weapon that could be used in a fight against a powerful mage. Did you edit this? I found in ancient scrolls which talk of it, written in awe of its abilities. I know it rests somewhere deep within the bowels of one of these islands, but I've never been able to search them thoroughly. The last time I tried was nearly fatal. There's all manner of evilness down there. Dude, it's been like, I've been here like a couple of hours and you've been here thousands of years. I have already retrieved it. You have retrieved it? I am impressed with your prowess, then. Will you join me to defeat Kurgan? Uh, give me the weapon and I will join with you. What if I bring you back to Arcanum instead? Come, let us crush our enemies in battle. Cool. Now, 
I want you to show me your inventory so I can steal your shit. Because technically, your sword is supposed to be the best one in the game. And then, now that I've taken your shit, I'm going to leave you behind. You think you can do this without Mio? Your corpse will be rotting in the sun without my help. I don't know, man. You're the one who did a genocide. Don't talk to me about shit. Uh... Hold on. I mean, I'm no saint myself, but, you know. What, what do you want? Just make the room. It's there. It's fine. Wow, that is underwhelming. That is barely better than... Oh, you know what? It's probably in part because I'm technically aligned, not magically aligned. Eh, well. Still got what I wanted. Fuck you, bud. Okay. You know what? I could give that to somebody. Um, hold on. What is... What is Krakatoa? I assume he's not... He's very defensive. Um, I don't suppose... Nope. Didn't I give you something before and you were willing to use it? Oh, it was the top hat. That's right. Um, okay, let's see. Virgil, do you like? Nope. Does anyone want it? You'll take it. How is it barely better than your staff? That can't possibly be right. 75% fatigue, 15 to 24 damage, 1 to 8. Is it the fatigue factor? Yeah. So it's trading fatigue for damage, essentially. I assume nobody else will use it. Because it's magic. Weird. Weird. Okay, the other thing I should do is check out what this armor is on the off chance it's any good. Oh, it's just fucking dread armor with infinite... Infinite, uh... Durability. Fuck off. Oh. What? How is that be That's better than bronze... What? That shouldn't be right. That does technically have a higher AC. DR plus five. Noise penalty. It doesn't have an electric. Oh, well, I, so. I don't know that I've ever. Ha I know that I've given. Um, uh, hold up, what the fuck? Where's Sog? Where the fuck is Sog? When did I... Did Sog die somewhere? Jesus Christ. How did I not notice? Why did no one tell me? Let's see. If I go back to the beginning of the episode, was he in the party then? Or did I fuck up even before that? Nope, he was in the party here. So he must have died in the dungeon.
Wait. No. Did I lose him? Did I lose him by accident here? Yeah, I think I did. I think that's what I did. I just missed him to talk to... Um... Yep, I'm an idiot. What happens if I say I don't think I, I will keep it? Do not understand, I will disembowel you. Greed, let us be off. Can I just take it from him now that he's in the party? Let me see your things. Oh no, he just eats it. Cool. That's fucked up. Oh man, I'm glad we're on the tail end of this thing, because Jesus. It's funny, because I don't even dismiss him from the party, I just make him wait, but that's enough to trick the game into thinking that the party is smaller. Okay, now he's in the party. Take his shit. Then I will dismiss him. Uh, or. Yeah, fuck off. Let's stop waiting now, Sog. I'm glad I noticed then when I was looking through everyone's inventory and not much later. Oy vey. Um. Okay. So, Sog, would you like either of those items? Where the fuck is Sog? Okay, he's at the bottom. Ugh. You will not wear the dread. Oh, well, it would help if I identified it too, but. So you won't take. Sword. Um, you know what? I will. I will give it to. Hold on. One thing at a time. Come on. Come on, brain. Divine. Identify. Talk to Sog. Would you like this armor now? Will you wear it? No. What are you wearing right now? Oh, right, because you're wearing large armor, so you couldn't wear it anyway. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, hold on, if I give it to... It's mad... It, the, dread, the thing is, the dread armor is magical, so... Technically, I guess... I guess Gar is the only other person in the party who wears... Well, Gar and Virgil, everyone else wears either small or large armor. That's fascinating, though. Hold on. So... AC-95, DR-32, Poison Resistance and... So this has dramatically better damage resistance. Why does it favor AC over damage resistance? See, that's the thing. I still don't know. Oh god, I can't look at that shit anymore. Move. Um, in almost every RPG system, at least any that are written sensibly, damage reduction is very rare and incredibly powerful because Damage reduction re up applies after after all the other calculations. So basically, you calculate out the damage and then you subtract. Um, so rather than deciding whether or not you get hit, it's they hit you, but it doesn't matter or it matters less, essentially. So why would you ever, unless, I mean, the game could just be calculating the 
favorability of that wrong. That's certainly a possibility. Um, it strikes me that uh, if if um, this has a damage reduction of 36 versus a damage reduction of 5, that this basically means Gar should be almost un uninjurable. Because, to my mind, plus 36 should mean... Um, well, I mean, that's like an unfathomable amount of damage reduction in most RPG systems, so I'm kind of curious, but... Normally that would mean it does all the math, it applies damage, and then it subtracts 36 from that damage. And almost nothing does more than 36 damage in the game. I rarely do more than 36 damage. Um, and I'm broken as fuck. But anyway. Um, well. Jormund, you can have that. I don't see why not. Um, I will keep the balance sword and... Is everybody else... Oh, you know what? Are we carrying a shield? Because if you... Because that would dramatically improve your... Survive. Not that it's really a problem, but like. Interesting. That's not something I expected. The MSR goes up when wielding a shield. I guess. Does this have extra hand mechanics? Or some version of that? There's a mechanic in D&D &D and several other RPG systems where if. Um, Basically, you can put another hand on your weapon to either negate some of the penalties if you're not skilled enough to use it, or like you don't have the requisite strength to use it one-handed, um, or to improve your ability with it. How does that actually... But again, it has no real negative effect, right? I, whatever, we'll leave that, that be for now. Huh. Well, okay. Weird. All right, let's walk over here again, check the party again, make sure I haven't forgotten anything again get confused again. This little section... Oh my god, I forgot how far this is. Um, better check the party now while we're walking. Looks right to me. But it's hard to tell. Off the pad, everyone. Except for you, dog. You can do whatever you want. Although I would prefer if you listen to me. Okay. Next time on Arcanum, we'll actually cross the bridge. <laughs>